So uh, this one is about safety. Uh, I have a house and like anywhere else I have uh, fire detectors. Uh, but I've decided to, to upgrade them. And of course, you know, uh, you have found out probably by now that I have sort of a man crush on <laughs> things from uh, Sagomi. So I went out and bought, uh, this is my second one. I already have one, but this is my second uh, fire detector from Sagomi. And this time I also went ahead and bought the carbine dioxide detector, uh, which is helpful if you, like me, have uh, natural gas uh, heating, uh, which is pretty dangerous if it leaks, uh, that stuff will kill you and you can't smell it. So, uh, so you need a carbon dioxide detector. I already have that today. This is, uh, this is the existing one I have. Uh, but the, the trick with this one, like the, um, the, uh, the fire detector, which is going to replace this one, my existing one, is that they are tied into my Xiaomi uh, gateway. So I will know, be notified uh, if I'm at work and either you know the fire alarm just goes off or this detects that uh, there is a gas leakage in my house. So that's pretty much the, the basic reason that I'm, I'm, I'm going to exist because these work. Uh, but uh, you know if my, if my house goes on fire while I'm away, you know if there's an electrical problem or something like that, uh, it's it's pretty nice to know you know that stuff is is burning in your house even though I'm at work. So so this of course costs a lot more than than these. Uh, I mean this you can buy these for you know almost like uh, yeah a dollar or two something like that. And the the fire detector costs uh, just around thirty dollars. The carbon dioxide uh, detector costs around. Uh, Forty dollars, which is not. Uh, this is actually pretty similar to what I paid for this one. Um, uh, this, however, the carbon dioxide detector needs to uh, to be connected directly to a power, whereas the um, the fire detector uses a lithium battery. So the the one th good thing about the lithium battery is that it should run me a lot longer than this. Uh, these usually run like this one uh, on a nine volt battery that needs to be changed like uh, every nine or eight months uh, in my experience. Whereas this should go on for years. Um, this is pretty clever, the fire detector. Uh, like I said, I already had one that I had for a few months now. And when you install it, you actually define you know what type of room uh, it sits in. Uh, so you can sort of, Tell it to be a little less or uh, aggressive if it's like in a kitchen where it's supposedly once in a while you know there will be smoke from when you're cooking or something like that. So it'll be a little less aggressive uh, going off, which is really uh, good thinking from uh, from Samiobi. This is uh, they made this in in conjunction with uh, with Honeywell. Uh, it's also said that, but it is you know Xiaomi. This also goes for the carbon dioxide detector. Again, you, you do need the, the Xiaomi gateway uh, to, to run the, these because they are connected sort of to your Wi-Fi, but not directly. They are, they are connected to the uh, Xiaomi uh, gateway that has Wi-Fi and these will then probably via CP connect to the, to the gateway. So you need the gateway first uh, and you can buy that uh, separately uh, all in a bundle like I did uh, with a motion detector, a smart button and a uh, yeah, magnet detector so you can put on your door or window to detect if that opens up. That kit costs uh, just around in the neighborhood of $60 to $7, $70. This again is around uh, $30 and this is uh, the carbon dioxide is around $40. I'll leave links to, to both of them. Uh, but I'll, I'll have these uh, set up and I can just show you how they, uh, they appear in the, in the Mi Home ecosystem installation we need to go through the Mi Home app so uh, just to show you this is the uh, what the gateway looks like and you will hear an uh, audible notice from it uh, just in a few seconds when I try to add the device so I will um, press the add device icon here we need to find it in the list it's just uh, down here where we have the smoke detector and the natural gas detector right now I'm doing the smoke detector so, and basically it's telling me in Chinese to press the button three times. There we have it. One, two, three. 
And I'm pretty sure it, it's telling me in Chinese that I did a good job. Now it asked me which room uh, that I want to add it in, in my preset room. And this is uh, in Danish, this is just my living room I'm telling it to. And that's pretty much it. Then what we will be able to do now is, if I just find it here. So now we have my smoke detector here. And we can tell it a few things here. So one thing we can do is that we can tell if it goes off, we can uh, have the gateway also uh, sound an alarm, which makes sense, of course. Then, like I told you, we can define the installation site. Now this is very clever. So my living room should be a smoke-free zone as uh, we do not smoke in our house. And again, it's not a kitchen uh, where uh, there would be moderate smoke uh, to be expected. So I'm setting it in a smoke-free zone. It should change here. Let's just try that again. I see. Please wait. So it's communicating with the device uh, and should just change any second now. Which would, uh, yeah, there we go. And there we have it, pretty much. So now it's uh, it's defined. And uh, again, should I uh, get an alarm, we can do a, a self check here. And we should get an audible. <laughs> there we go. There was not a lie, just uh, yeah, a tone. So we can have it, uh, you know, verify for us. And it's also asking me, you know, was there a beep? There was. So uh, it's working. That's pretty much it, guys and girls. Uh, for the um, for the smoke alarm, I'll uh, I'll do the the natural gas uh, detector now. I have the device installed here, right next to my furnace, and we need to set it up. So should be pretty much the same drill. We want to add a device. We will find it in the Xiaomi list here. It's there. The hub will probably say something. Yeah. Don't know if you can hear that, but in the background. And same as last time. Click three times. One, two, three. And the hub also says again. I am a good Xiaomi boy. Uh, I'll just uh, define which room it sits in, so it knows where to go. That's pretty much it, and I can give it a name. I'll do that later. So that that's pretty much it uh, for the installation part. Uh, yeah. So these both detectors are very true to Xiaomi's, you know, way of operating. They are sleek looking, uh, small. Uh, and uh, really does the job great. Um, they are fairly easy to install. It took me 20 minutes to install both of them, uh, including adding them into the Mi Home ecosystem. Um, so that's just one note I'll have to, to correct myself. They will work as standalone detectors if you want them to um, and don't have the, the Xiaomi gateway. But uh, the notification part then goes away, and that's really you know the, I have standalone detectors already, you know. So so the reason for me to to acquire these are to get the notifications if I'm at work and, and a detector goes off. So if the the detector uh, notification part it involves the gateway, but you can use them as a standalone if you if you would need to. Um, I really like them. Uh, as always, you know, the, the price tag is, is fair if you look at similar type of products. So, so I can't, you know, give anything but then my usual Xiaomi, you know, thumbs up. This is, uh, this is good stuff. Um, I'm not endorsed by anyone here. These are bought on my own dime. Uh, I do sometimes, you know, uh, other Xiaomi stuff uh, and other types of smart home products. So uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to follow what I'm, I'm, I'm buying these days. And uh, yeah. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Have a good day. See you around.